You may not be able to control your jeans, but you can control your pants. Jimmy Rose says what you wear at work can be the difference between advancement or career duds. Jimmy, what's the deal? Summer fashions are in stores. That means short shorts and no sleeves, which won't fly at the office. Office Team District President Brandy Britton says fashion winners can be career duds. How you dress impacts your promotability. A lot. Over 80% of managers say clothes can make the career. So can you be both fashionable and ambitious? Sure, just follow my catwalk to cubicle rules for success. First, buckle up, because office attire changes fast. Things deemed taboo just a few years ago are now OK. Jeans, tennis shoes, even leggings. Yoga tights? Nah, uh huh. I'ma stay out of my office until you put some real pants on. And while ripped up jeans are somehow okay, other trends don't make the cut. Even though cold shoulder shirts are very popular right now, those are still considered something that maybe isn't appropriate for work. Another no-no? Tank tops. Because no, Sasquatch, we don't want to see your back hair. Especially like a spaghetti strap top might be distracting in the workplace. In my defense, I didn't know she was talking about women. Not that women can't have back hair. Don't send emails. Speaking of gender, office team says men are more stressed about work attire than women. It takes men on average 12 minutes to pick out their outfit in the morning and women nine minutes. More time reflects more indecision and more stress. I can vouch for this. Guys are plagued by fashion U-turns. All denim outfits long derided as Canadian tuxedos rocked the runway. Denim on denim can look very cute. So how about that other big trend, socks with sandals? I would say those are out. But you get all the ventilation of sandals with none of the chafing. You can have comfort at home. This all seems very arbitrary. And those judgment calls are the manager's burden. Over 40% of managers have had to have a conversation with one of their employees about what they're wearing, and in some cases, even send them home. You might get booted for wearing trends like plastic clothing. That's out. One, being distracting. Two, you're probably going to get awfully hot. She doesn't mean attractive hot. She means sweating because you wore a zip black bag to work hot. Bottom line, read the room to get a sense of the real workplace uniform. Your more corporate environments, it's still a suit and a good button-up shirt. Dressing for success is what's the deal.